Hey guys, we are doing an updated video tour. The boys are out for breakfast this morning. Now that we've all settled in, just figured I'd show you guys an update of everything that we've got going on over here. Um, so still have the big pasture, but we've sectioned it off so that the guys can be up here, still have a little bit more space to run and eat but they're going to be easier to catch <laughs> for a little bit um, than trying to chase them all over God's creation out there. Um, they still have this little paddock area. I found that this little area here has actually been extremely easy to just lunge them here in this little space. Um, fits them perfectly for that. So we're going to keep this. Still have our um, pitching post over there for bathing and washing with our cross ties, salt block, water. Second hitching post right here. We've redone the stall doors. Had them all painted and everything. Update. So the stalls are all padded good. Cody still has his jelly balls that he likes to play with. <laughs> his buckets, treat pan. More salt. <laughs> and I love these little windows because we can feed them in here without actually having to come inside the stall. You just reach your hand in and bloop right in the bucket. <laughs> Still has the salt blocks here. And every stall has its own little light switch. Right up there. And here's our little sitting area. We've got a little um, pop-up easy up right here. Keep us dry. It's got a, a panel on the side if we want to block wind for privacy or whatever. And then um, we've actually roped it off so the horses stay the heck out of there. And it keeps them out of the feed room. Which, by the way, now is filled with round bales. <laughs> Three of them are coastal. One of them is a fescue orchard grass mix because we're transitioning them off of the coastal. Apparently, Coastal has a higher incidence of colic and choke, and uh, we really want to give our horses a better quality hay, and so that's what we're going to transition them to. Um, not that they're going to use a ton of hay, because, holy crap, that's just, it's all grass. <laughs> and we have all of our whiteboard scheduling, feed scheduling there. This is just, I can't believe we fit all of them in here. <laughs> And tack room. So the tack room, let me turn the lights on. Um, we have all of their feed pans right here. And there's Legacy's bucket, Poncho and Dakota's feed. They're still all on the solutions, tri the Tribute Solutions 14 for now. Um, thinking about changing that up at some point, but everybody's gonna just do things gradually. They still have their Timothy pellets over there. The boys get smart packs in the morning. Um, everybody's halters and fly masks are lined up. They each get their own wooden stump peg. <laughs> all of our products and treats are all up out of here. Grooming supplies, our whips and crops, leave ropes hanging up on the wall. Um, we got our saddle moved over here. Lots of shavings, blankets. Are all hanging up and all of our tack hanging up nicely mom saddles over here in her stand we have this nice little cabinet which i really like keeps all of our crap in here and everybody's helmet it's a cubby so we all keep our stuff in there michelle's finally getting some tack <laughs> Hopefully we'll be putting together her bridle this week. It came in the mail. She got a curb chain in her bit, so we'll be fitting um, Legacy for his own bridle. Shifty luck. Okay. And that's our attack room now. Filled with stuff, as usual. Tools over here. Michelle's shavings. 
wash buckets and stuff like that. Paint all of the things. <laughs> And this is our cute little seating area. They are happy. And the real fun part is way down at the bottom down here. Um, the pasture is horseshoe shaped, so ours ends at the end of this shoe. But as it curves around, the ours horses are down by that gate. And they've been calling to each other for days now. And they're just waiting down there. Can barely make them out. Maybe you can on the camera, but... They're there. And we moved one of the salt blocks and water buckets over here so that this pasture could have its own separate get up. A couple of nice shade trees right there for them to get under. They've already been hiding. 